All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the beautiful, beautiful world of scum. Today, I've got some fun plans. I discovered that somewhere on this island are some coal mines, and I've never been there, never even knew they existed, and I really want to go check them out. I don't know if there's going to be like any puppets or even any loot, but I really want to go check it out. Just exploring an abandoned coal mine just sounds like a lot of fun to me. And I think no matter what we do, we always end up getting into a little bit of trouble and having a little bit of fun. So that's the main goal for today. Now, the thing is, is that if we check the map here, it is all the way up northeast in the red zone, which means if we see anyone else, they have every right to fire on us and vice versa. And on top of that, it's all the way across the world from us right now. And there's no way I'm taking another mountain bike all the way across this island, which leads us to the next thing I want to talk about. Now, when I was away, a couple people have stopped by, and they left some gifts. And let's disregard the dead garden right now. I, <laughs> I've been trying to keep up on it, and then I forgot about it, and they all died. But anyway, they left a couple gifts, one being a dirt bike. I, I apologize, I can't remember your name offhand, but thank you so much for leaving this nice gift here. I really appreciate it. It sounds like the gentleman who left this here ended up getting a car, so he didn't need the dirt bike, and so he dropped it off at my base. Oh yeah, I added a little welcome sign too. Just, you know, just to let people know that they're welcome. But anyway, let's jump in here. And you'll notice it's changed up a little bit. Now, there's a wheelbarrow right here, as well as two metal chests. Now someone else, I believe it was a second person, they left a wheelbarrow full of these two chests. Now the wheelbarrow is empty now. And these chests, if we open them up, you'll notice that they are absolutely chock full. Now there's this one, which it seemingly has a bunch of random stuff in it. A lot of toolboxes, which is very useful for us to upkeep the base. But then we look into the second chest here and it is just filled to the brim with guns and ammo. I know, I know I didn't work for any of this, but I do appreciate the person who dropped this off for me. Uh, what I'll probably end up doing is just selling the majority of this stuff because of course I don't need 10 different pistols on me. So we should be able to make some good money. And then what I also wanted to do is get a some kind of sight for my M16 as well as an actual suppressor because the water bottle suppressors only last like one or two shots. So they don't really do us any good. And I think if we're diving deep into caves, we're definitely gonna want a flashlight and we're definitely gonna want some accuracy if we end up running into a bunch of puppets. Now, before I actually go spend any money, I wonder if there's anything in here that we can throw on our M16. There's a 30-06 suppressor. I highly doubt that's gonna work. Uh, what about some of these flashlights? I don't know if I need some kind of separate rail or what for any of these attachments. Oh, wait a minute. This M9 flashlight works. Now, it doesn't have any batteries, so let me see if I can actually find one. Wait, there's a V3 holographic sight in here. Oh, we can't put that on. Oh, wait, maybe. Maybe we can. Yes, we can. So I always forget I have to take it out of the metal chest first and then put it in my backpack or on the ground, and then I can equip it. Uh, let me see if I can find a battery. 98%. So let's throw that into our flashlight. Huh, for some reason, I cannot connect the batteries to it. I've put it both in my inventory and tried dragging it on top. And then I put it on the ground and tried dragging it on top. It doesn't work. I'm not sure why. Oh, I just realized that even though the percentage on these batteries are 98 and 85, I thought that was the charge. Apparently, these are empty. Now, I don't know if we can recharge them somehow, if there's some kind of battery charger around here. But I'm going to throw them back into storage for now and see if I can actually find a full one. Okay, so it turns out all the batteries in my inventory are all dead and there's no way to actually recharge them. There is a battery charger that we can craft up, but apparently it only recharges cell phone batteries. So I don't really need that right now. What I do wanna do is I wanna go over to the trader, sell a bunch of stuff, and then we could probably buy batteries there, I would assume, and then we will have a nice working weapons flashlight. But right now, this thing is looking pretty good. So let me stock up on some of these guns in here, and then I will go over and sell a bunch, and then I, I think we're just ready to head off to the coal mine. All right, I think I've got everything I need, at least for this trip. I'm completely filled up in my bag. So let's get this dirt bike up and running. Let's head to the trader. Let's make a little bit of money. up 
All right, we just sold our stuff. We made about $6,000 from that. So we're up to almost $13,000. So what I'm gonna do is head over to General Goods. I would assume if there is someone selling batteries, oh, it's gonna be these guys. Aha, here we go. For 90 bucks, we can buy some batteries. Let's let's buy a stack of three. That's probably overkill. What will it be? But we just made like six grand. It's gonna cost us 270. So I think it's worth it. All right, let's give this a shot now. We'll throw the M16 in our hands and try and load up this battery. And that seemed to take. Okay, we do have light. It, I mean, it can't really see it's daytime right now. Okay. Come welcome. Feel free to browse. The further around. away it is, it seems like it's a little bit better. So we'll turn this off for now. And let me make sure I sold everything I needed to. And I think we're good. Now, before we go too far, I'm going to make sure I deposit all my money in the bank. And I don't want to bring my bank card with me because we are going to a PvP zone. And I don't need to lose my life and all my money in that zone. All right, I'm gonna load up my last magazine for my M16. I brought some extra 357 ammo for my handgun, and I say we just go for it. So I have officially entered the red zone, the PVP zone. So it has now just gotten a little bit more dangerous or probably a lot more. I'm gonna keep driving here. We need to follow this road. Oh gosh, I can't drive and look at the map at the same time. But we need to follow this road up to this little town right here. I believe this is where the abandoned coal mine is. So let's head over that way. Hopefully we don't run into any trouble. And our vehicle isn't exactly all that quiet either, which is kind of unfortunate. But hey, we've got a vehicle, so we're doing a lot better than we were just a little bit ago. Oh, wait a minute. I think we're here. I think we're at one of the entrances. Okay, hold on. I'm going to park my bike, see if I can kind of hide it in this bush here. All right, about there. Okay. All right, let's get our M16 out. Now, one thing I forgot to do at the trader was buy a suppressor, but I ended up going to the trader in this biome and actually buying one. So we're good to go on that too. Oh boy. Here, let's turn this flashlight on. I can't search these. I have no clue what to expect down here. I'm going to try and take it a little bit slow. I don't know if there's, like I said, I don't know if there's anything at all down here, if there's any loot, if there's going to be any puppets. I really hope so. Okay, there's a puppet right here. Okay, actually, let's make sure this is on single fire. Nope, I just checked my ammo. I didn't want to do that. Okay, there we go. Oh, we got another puppet. It doesn't sound like that set off any other ones. So I don't know how isolated the sound is down here or not. Did she drop anything good? No. Let's search him really quick and then we'll keep moving. Okay, we're coming to kind of an open area. I'm gonna have to be really careful. Oh, there's a puppet right there. Let's see if I can get my light on him. I keep missing. Oh, oh boy, I didn't even see this one. Oh boy, there's a few of them. Oh, okay. We're safe right now. There's a generator. Can't pick it up or anything. That's okay. I've already got two of them back at the base. Okay, there are several different ways we can go. I don't know which way would be best. 
I'm gonna try and just, I guess, go left here. I see Puppet up front ahead of us. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's one right there. Okay, so there's plenty of puppets down here for sure. Oh, can I go through here? No, that seems sealed off. Okay, let's keep moving. I don't think I'm gonna search the puppets. They don't normally drop anything good anyway. Okay, we have several more options. I'm gonna go to the wide open area. There's definitely puppets in here. I'm gonna have to be a little bit more careful. Gotta make sure you double tap. Make sure that they are dead. Okay, this is the first box, or well, really anything that I've found that I can search. And I got a 50 out of 50 toolbox, so that's kind of nice. Is there anything else? Yeah, just two boxes so far. We've got some matches and some coal. I don't know what we can use coal for. I'm gonna hold on to it just in case. I'm guessing, yeah, we can search this, probably for some more coal. Yeah, can we stack these? No, we can't, okay. Oh, did I see Puppet over here? No, I didn't. Oh, I did. Dead Puppet now. Okay, I'm gonna pick up all this coal. I mean, probably not all of it, but a little bit here and there, because I have no clue what I can use it for. All right, I thought this sign was gonna be something that would tell me where to go, but I have no clue what any of this means. Well, it's showing N-2 is to my left, and Iskop is straight ahead. I'm gonna, I guess, go to the end dash two. Oh, it looks like we're going down. Okay, so I think there are multiple levels to this coal mine. And I think, I think it goes down four levels. So I'm guessing it probably gets progressively more dangerous. I don't know. I don't really know what to expect at all. So I think we're down to the second level now. I feel, even though it's a wide open area, it's still fe- Oh my gosh. Still feels uh, super claustrophobic down here. And there's been essentially nothing worth looting. All right, I'm gonna take a left here. What does this sign say? N-3, so I think that's the third level down. That would make sense. So let's creep through here, do our best not to die. Oh, I didn't even see her hiding behind that cart. Got another one up here. Now let's check how much ammo we have before we continue. Okay, 15 rounds. So I don't know if you noticed that on my last shot, I could see the, the bullet ricocheting off into different areas. I shot over here and I saw it ricochet over there. I'm gonna try that again. <laughs> That's actually super cool. Okay, let's keep moving though. I want to find the fourth level and I'm willing to bet it's down this way. Here, let's search a little bit. Let me guess more coal. No, a backpack. Don't need it, but well, maybe I'll throw... Oh, portable work light. Okay, we're <laughs> pretty full. Oh, there's a small axe and a spade shovel. Don't really need that. Now, let's, let's leave that backpack. I, I really don't need it. I know we could hold on to it, throw some extra things in there. I don't imagine we're going to find a ton of loot considering... Oh, we can actually search this. But considering mostly what we've been finding so far is a bunch of coal. But I guess Christmas is right around the corner. So maybe we can gift a few people with uh, some well-deserved coal. Alright. Getting down to the fourth level now. I have no clue what to expect. don't see really any puppets. I've only killed one so far. I don't know. Oh, N-5. So it goes down further. Okay, I might be wrong about how many levels down it goes. We're just going to keep going. I, <laughs> we're going to see how far down we can go and hopefully not get lost down here. Okay, I hear a puppet off to my left somewhere. Oh, hold on. But 
That growling that I hear from the puppet over to my left, that doesn't sound like a normal puppet. Okay, this tunnel isn't labeled, but it definitely goes down further. Let's keep pushing. Skinny Pete is down. Who else is here? I'm actually pretty nervous because I don't know if there's gonna be... Oh, I gotta reload. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know if there's gonna be just an absurd amount of puppets down here if I get down to the deeper levels, or I know in some bunkers, there are some higher level puppets, but I don't know if those puppets will find down here in the abandoned coal mine. What's this guy doing hiding over here? Now, I know I'm using a lot of ammo. I don't really want to take any chances. Um, what do we got for magazines? We still have two full magazines and then a couple empty ones. And then do we have some extra ammo? We only have three extra rounds. Okay, not great. Oh, wait, we got a little bit more. We got nine tracer rounds too. Um, not great. I probably could have planned a little bit better. Maybe should have bought a little bit more ammo with the money that we have, but can't really go back now. All right, I'm just going through a random tunnel. I don't know where this leads. There was no label to it or anything. Oh, there's a sign up here. Let's check that. Okay, so I just found this small toolbox on the ground. I did not put it there. That makes me wonder if someone's been here. That would be my guess, because normally people are going to grab something out of the box and drop it if they don't need it. But I'm going to go back down this tunnel. I'm trying to go as deep as I can, so long as I feel mostly safe. But I want to see what this whole place has to offer. As creepy as this place is. Wait a minute, is this like an exit or an entrance right here? There's a ladder. Can I actually use that? <gasps> I can. Okay, yeah, that looks like it goes all the way to the top. I don't really want to leave just yet. I want to keep exploring. Okay, we've got a puppet up here. Let me just take out my katana for this guy. I'm going to stay in the light because I cannot see him without my flashlight. Come on, buddy. Come over here. You don't see me? You can't hear me? Hello? Okay, I guess I'm attacking him in the dark. It's really hard to see. Okay. <laughs> he was only uh, one hit, so that's good. Let's take our gun back out so we have a light. I think it's safe to say I'm lost right now. I have no clue where I'm going. I haven't seen a sign in a while. This looks like it goes back up. So do I want to go back this way? Yeah, let's keep running. I'm going to increase my speed a little bit. We can cover a little bit more ground. What's this over here? Uh, it's a lighter. I don't really need one of those. Okay, it's saying Iskop N-7. Does that mean we're on the seventh floor? Oh, hold on. Got a few of them here. I don't know if that means we're on the seventh level. If so, there doesn't seem to be any real loot out here besides some boxes every once in a while. Oh, here we go. Uh, a couple more. Oh, boy. Anyone else? Okay, no, we're good. All right, let's check what this sign says. Is Islas 4? Well, either way, I'm going to keep pushing through this N7 and see if there's anything down here. I think this might be a dead end right here. 
Yeah, there's nothing here. I think it'd be pretty cool if we had some explosives on us and we could just blow open that wall right there. And then that's where the good loot is and that's where the tough puppets are. But I, I don't think that's the case. So I think it said Isla's uh, N4 is that way. So let's go this way. Oh, there's another sign. Ah, this says Isla's 4. Well, I'm going to keep pushing through this way. Especially since I don't know what those signs mean necessarily. But it doesn't seem like there's really too much down here. It's fun killing puppets, don't get me wrong. Oh, yeah, that looks like an exit down there. Yeah, it sure is. Okay. Um, and the fun thing is, is I have no clue where I parked my bike. <laughs> I have absolutely no clue. Yeah, I'm going to turn my light off and we're going to move out of here. Maybe this is actually where we came in. Let's find out here. I want to scope it out here make sure no one's watching. Is this where I put my bike? No. This is definitely a different entrance than what we came in. Oh boy. Where are we on the map? Um, somewhere in the mining city. Okay, well, I'm gonna move to the actual city itself. I thought it was gonna be down here, but I guess we're a little bit further up north from that. Okay, I'm gonna have to find a spot to lay down to rest because if I run into any person out here, I'm gonna run out of stamina and uh, it's pretty much guaranteed death. So let's lay down, kind of recoup a little bit, and then I'm going to search this town and hopefully not die out here. All right, we're coming up to the town right now. I haven't heard any gunshots or anything like that, but that does not mean that we're alone. And I don't know how popular these winter POIs are out here. I'm kind of hoping that nobody ever wants to go to them because it's the, the snow biome and it's, it's too cold, but you never really know. Okay, there's absolutely nothing going on in this room. Let's just jump out of here. Alright, I did a little bit of looting on some smaller buildings. Didn't really find anything. Did find an extra lockpick, so that's nice. But I'm hoping that the buildings up here are a little bit better in terms of loot. Ugh. Because the mines didn't really give us much. Did find a gas lantern. Don't really need that. Let's keep searching here. Some barbed wire. Don't know if we need that for anything, so I'm just going to hold on to that. What's going on here? Nothing's going on behind the stairwell. Let's keep searching. Oh, this is good. One of the big screwdrivers. It only has 25 uses instead of the full 40, but beggars can't be choosers. Let's keep moving here. Oh, someone else is in here. Hey, buddy. What's up? Definitely gonna focus on using my katana out here because if anyone hears my gunshots uh, They're probably gonna run straight towards me and get the jump on me and that's the last thing I need Even though I am suppressed that does not mean people aren't gonna be able to hear us There's this massive tower just out of curiosity. I kind of want to climb it, but I have a feeling absolutely nothing is up there So I don't think I'm gonna waste my time with that uh, Don't think there's gonna be anything here all right, anyone home? Yes, there is. There we go. There's a crowbar. Uh, I think we can use that for crafting some things. I know we can make kind of alternatives to the crowbar, but I think that'll be good just to, just to have in general. Oh, there's just an iron lock on the table. I'll take that. Now, one thing I really have to get in the habit of is actually closing doors behind me. Because if anyone decides to come through this town while I'm here, they're going to see the open doors and automatically know that someone's here. Sleeveless camo shirt. I'm going to take off my black sleeveless shirt and put this bad boy on. You can't see it. And that's not just because it's camo, but it's also underneath the rest of my clothes. So that's why you can actually see it. But it'll give me a little extra warmth while I'm out here actually freezing. As you can tell, there's actual frost forming on my face <laughs> or on my eyeballs.
Okay, hold on. Speaking of open doors, I have not been through this building. That clearly is an open door. Okay, there's a puppet in here. So whoever's, whoever came, come on, die. Oh my goodness. Whoever came through here, I would assume they've been gone long enough to where a puppet is actually now in there. So hopefully we don't have to worry too much. Oh, <gasps> look at that. That's at 87%. It's my M1 medical helmet. I don't know why. I just really like this helmet and I have not wanted to give it up. I just think it looks really cool. But anyway, let's let's keep searching. Can we find any food? I think I kind of need some. We're down to 69%, which is kind of nice, but uh, we got a needle. We'll take that. Uh, might as well take the lighter. Oh, we got a cola. Let's actually go ahead, uh, make sure the doors are closed in here. Let's get into a little bit of a hiding spot if we can. Hopefully, if anyone's here, they can't see us as well. And let's just drink all of this. All right, let's keep moving. What else we got going on here? Not really a whole lot. There's a building, a couple buildings down here. Let's go ahead and search these quick. See what we can find. Is there anyone home? Uh, let's take out our katana. No one back there. Yeah, we look good. Okay. Okay, not a whole lot going on in that building. Let's keep moving to the small one here. And then I say we start looking for our dirt bike. It might take me a little while to find the dirt bike because, like I said, I have no clue where I actually came into that tunnel. All right, nothing in that building either. Let's go ahead and head up north because I believe that's where I came in to where we found that tunnel entrance. So we have to find our bike somewhere around that area. If it takes me all day to find that thing, I am going to take all day to find that thing because there's no way I'm running all the way from the north side of the map all the way down to the south side. It, it's not happening. Oh, we found another can of soda and a waste bag, a little fanny pack. So let's go ahead and throw that on. That was just on this hunting stand up here. Let's see if we can jump down without hurting ourselves. Okay, we seem to be doing okay. Um, which direction are we going? Let's go back north here. Like I said, there should be a road up here that we followed in on, if I remember right. I feel like I cut through roads. I can't remember at this point, but there's got to be a road leading to that entrance. Okay, I was literally searching up until nighttime now. The sky is absolutely gorgeous, but it's getting way too dark, and I'm pretty certain my bike is right in this bush right here. Oh, yes, it is. Okay, thank you. All right, let's start this bad boy up. Um, I say we get the heck out of this PvP zone before we get shot, and then I'm going to go to the trader. I don't have really anything to trade to them, but it's a safe zone, and I just want to feel safe right now. I was a little bit nervous just being in this area because it's all PvP, and then on top of that, being in an extremely creepy coal mine. So I'm going to head. I think I have to go east. I'm going southwest right now. No, I have to go west. Okay, yeah, let's keep driving. Oh my goodness. Let's keep driving west and get the heck out of here. All right, a little bit of a change of plans. I saw that a an airdrop. Oh my goodness. Oh, driving is so dangerous out here. I saw that an airdrop dropped right in this zone and I think I'm pretty close. I'm just to the left of it. I have to go east. Uh, that's this way. Oh, there it is. Okay, I don't think anyone's gotten to it yet. Let's get up here and see if uh, we can get any good loot out of this. This entire trip will be worth it if we can get some good loot out of this. All right, let's open her up. We got 20 minutes, more than enough time. All right, let's go ahead. Uh, let's take our gloves off first. All right, so for some reason, I think the server's just being super laggy right now. And every single time that I lockpick one of these boxes, I lose my lockpick, I get a use taken out of my screwdriver, and then it just doesn't unlock. And I can keep trying to unlock it, and the same thing happens over and over again. So I'm taking this opportunity to give this a shot. I am trying to pry this thing open. I've never done it before, and it's gonna take what seems like forever, but I'm hoping this is kind of the workaround to the lockpicking being broken right now. We'll see here in just a sec. 
All right, in about three seconds. I should see if it actually worked. No, no, it didn't. It gives me the option to force unlock again. Yeah, we're not going to do that. I don't know what's going on. I thought this was going to be such a good thing. Yeah, you can tell I've spent the last almost five minutes here trying to lock pick and force these things open, but I'm just, it's lagging too bad. So unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be getting this drop. All right, I have finally made it home safe and sound. It is the middle of the night. It's pitch black. I can't see anything. Let's actually take out our rifle really quick and turn on our flashlight. Let's open this up. Okay. All right. Well, we came back with really nothing. Nothing special. We got, what, a couple toolboxes, uh, portable work like, and a bunch of coal so I guess that's kind of cool but we did come back with a new experience and that was actually a lot of fun checking out the coal mine but what I'm gonna do right now is I am going to light up this fire here really quick ah it's so it, it, it's so cozy I love a little campfire next to my cot and in my little cabin on the side of the water it's I don't know it's just relaxing to me it's nice and cozy but I'm gonna jump into bed I'm gonna sleep for the rest of the night, and in the daytime, I think we build a new building or maybe a new addition or something, just just for some fun. All right, well, good morning. I let the night pass, and now I'm just watering the garden a little bit, and um, I think I think we add a little gazebo. Now, <laughs> if you're watching another series of mine, you, you'll know that it's, it's not very original for me to do this, but I think it would look really nice out here. I don't know where just yet. Maybe down here? I think it would look good down in this area. Maybe cut that tree down or do it maybe right next to it. And just have like a nice little gazebo, nice, nice spot to relax. I think it'd be cool. So, the first thing I need to do, though, is actually grab my chainsaw but I'm pretty sure it's completely empty it doesn't have any gas left in it but I'm wondering if we put it in our hands here and we go to this small generator can we we can add fuel with the electricity generator no so that's just transferring it from one generator to the next can we transfer the fuel from the generator to the chainsaw it doesn't look oh add fuel all right I don't know where it's getting the fuel from but I'm guessing it's one of these generators all right, now let's check to see how much fuel this bad boy has. It's at 100%. Okay, we're filled to the brim. Okay, so let's go out here. Well, let's actually... Let's put some stuff in storage first. I don't need all this junk on me. Okay, now let's come out here and let's check out what kind of building options we have here. We have both... A square foundation and a triangle twig foundation. Let's start with the square and then we might be able to use the triangles for a more interesting design. All right, so we've got that place. So we just need some logs, some sticks, and some rope. Let's go ahead and take out our chainsaw and get to cutting. Alright, we've got the base down. Let's go ahead and see what we can do with some triangle foundations now. Um, you know what? Maybe we don't want the square one and we just want triangle ones. That way we can kind of form a circle with just the triangles. Let me give that a shot. I'm going to go ahead and destroy this here really quick. And then we'll put down a bunch of triangles and uh, just go from there, I guess.
And there we go. We have made the beautiful gazebo. I decided to have it kind of open around the edges instead of walls. I don't know why, just, I, we've got a big, beautiful ocean behind us. We might as well enjoy the scenery of that. And uh, I don't know, I, I like it. I threw a little campfire in the middle, threw some stools and uh, benches in there too. And I think it looks pretty cool. I'm kind of creating my own little area around here. We've got our nice spacious cabin. We've got a nice dock down there, though we do need another boat because I lost my last one. We've got a garden slash farm that uh, I'm struggling to keep up on. But now we've got this awesome little gazebo where we can relax at night as well. Um, we, we, can we not? I don't think we can sit on these benches. Well, we can sit on the stool. And we can enjoy our new gazebo. Now, I wish I could see this at night. It's going to be quite a few hours before it's nighttime. So, unfortunately, I won't be able to enjoy that right now. But I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Hey, guys, I just want to jump in really quick and let you know that after I finished recording this episode, I heard rumors that the new update version 0.95 may be releasing in the next day or so at the time of this recording. With that update comes a complete wipe of the map, which means all of our items, vehicles, and buildings, everything will be wiped off the map and we'll have to start fresh. As of right now, it's just rumor and not set in stone, but I just want to let you guys know that it may be the end of this series. But that doesn't mean that we're done here. It just means that we'll be starting a whole new adventure sooner rather than later. And while I'm here, I just want you guys to know how much I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown for the series and the channel as a whole. I seriously appreciate every single one of you and you're making this passion of mine a reality and I couldn't be more grateful. Anyway, let's get back to the video. So yeah, I think I'm gonna call it there. I hope you guys enjoyed. Throw a like on the video if you did. Subscribe if you wanna see some more of this type of stuff. I've got a ton more coming out and I can't wait to show you guys and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you all in the next one. Later.